Here are four simple ways to delete files off your Mac to solve your storage problems. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified of more pro tips on your Mac. When it comes to deleting files, what most of us do is dragging and dropping our file into the trash bin and then emptying that out. But there's two shortcuts that you can use. If you click on a file and hit Command Delete, it'll send it straight to the trash can. But if you hit Option Command Delete, it'll actually delete it permanently and skips the step of going straight to the trash bin. Quick question for you, comment down below. How do you usually delete files off of your computer? Do you drag and drop? or do you know these shortcuts beforehand? We would love to know. So let's dive into smarter and more efficient ways in deleting trash off of our computers, starting with the Optimize Storage tab. We're going to go to Settings, then General, then Storage. And here we'll see a quick breakdown of our entire hard drive space from our applications, documents, and so on and so forth. To go even further, go ahead and click the I Information button, and you'll be shown four more sections, large files, downloaded, unsupported apps, and so on and so forth. It's nicely ordered for you to sort through, so if you want to delete a file, just click on any one of them and hit Delete. The next step I want to show you is to use a Mac cleaner tool through a program called Clean My Mac X. So with this program, I'm going to head over to large and old files, run a quick scan. And this is levels above step one because now we have even more categorization from our archives, pictures, and even a categorization of when we last accessed certain files. I really like that feature because sometimes it's not a matter of how much space a file takes up, but rather if it's just been sitting on my computer and I've just been ignoring it. Now that module is really useful for large and old files, but I'm going to show you another module called System Junk. We're going to go over here. Also run a quick scan, review details. We're going to select downloads, universal binaries, and all these other sections. We're going to hit clean. And that was an easier way to delete files that may go under our radar. And Clean My Mac X is a program that can make your life so much easier with all these different modules that they can offer. So if you want, there's a download link in the description box below, and I highly recommend getting this program. If you want to know about other Mac cleaning softwares, you should click this video right here. This next step is for when you're trying to delete a file, but for some reason you're getting an error. So we're going to use terminal. So you're going to want to hit command space space type in terminal and once you see the terminal i want you to type in this command and once you do hit the space bar once i want you to open up your trash bin drag the file that's causing you trouble into the terminal press enter type in your password to your computer and now it's deleted. This last step is for the odd case in which you have to delete hidden files off of your Mac. But if you know the hidden file that you really want to delete, click on Finder, hit Command Shift period, and all the grayed out titles you see are hidden files. To be on the safe side, only do this in the applications or documents folders in your computer because if you do this for systems, you can accidentally delete files that are crucial for the operation of your computer. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified on more pro tips for your Mac, and we'll see you in the next one.